wormholes, again, the fabric of the universe uh, being as it is, how do you say that unequivocally and be assured, people, that we are at the center of the universe while we don't know what that center is? We have more galaxies. The, the Milky Way is just one of billions of galaxies. Uh, it would seem to me that the uh, if the Earth is a, is a fixed place in all of this, I mean that would be beyond phenomenal. I I, I mean I would I, I cannot conceive of that. Now, well, I, you I, see I, all the galaxies go around you every night. That is a fact. You can have a big telescope and you can see galaxies even farther than your eyesight can see, but they're all doing the same thing. They're all going around us every night. Okay, so that intimates that it's a sphere that we're looking at. Now, the question is, how do we explain that movement? Well, we only have two explanations. One is that the Earth is rotating and the universe is fixed, which is going to make it look like those galaxies are going around you every night. The only other solution is that the universe is going around a fixed Earth. There are no other solutions to, that, to what we see every night, you see. So it is a fact. You just have two ways to explain it. So which one is correct? I, I, can, well, then, I can't name the scientists as well as you have been able to name them, and thank you for your, your being astute in that region. But I have watched several reports where new stars are found. For instance, if you look at in the Orion constellation and you look at the nebulae, the Eagle Nebulae, this, this huge, this vast, incomprehensible, mass of sun, sun, stars, and dust, and distance, it's just beyond comprehension. To and you they are, but to God it's just a drop. No, I, no, 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 I give God the credit. I give him all the credit. No, he, I, don't, I don't take nothing from him. I'm, 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 I'm trying to, well, not trying to discredit you, but I'm, I'm trying to argue with the Orion constellation and with the Eagle Nebulae uh, you know, you have suns born in that... that, that, that uh, yeah, but they're all going to go around the universe with the rest of the stars. Yeah. I, I guess I got I, I to gotta find a way to accept that. Because <laughs> right now I don't. I got to tell you, I don't accept. I don't accept. I reject that the Earth does not rotate. I, 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 I don't accept that. I, yeah, well, I, I know I don't, you don't. But I don't what accept. I'm trying to say to the people is the fact that my offering of geocentrism is not some fringe nutcase idea. It's I, yeah. offered to us by Albert Einstein himself. He admitted that I'm that was the other that, solution. He just couldn't accept it. I'm, like not, you. Sure, I'm not sure that Einstein wasn't a nutcase. All right, hey, everyone. You've just heard um, Pastor Manning ask a very reasonable question, and you've heard the answer by Dr. Robert Sengenis. And I want to try to also video, uh, you know, give a video means, because sometimes when, when people see the answer with their eyes, it means a lot more than just discussing it on a radio program. But this is my dad's uh, wheelchair, and in a moment I'll back up so you can see the whole thing. But right now I've got the camera just focused on the center of one of the wheels, okay? Now I'm going to spin the wheel. There you go. See me spin it? Now that's the spinning wheel of my dad's wheelchair. Okay, my dad's diabetic, about 86 years old, uh, missing a leg, and we love him to death. So I've kind of borrowed his wheelchair here, but let me ask you this. When you're looking at the spinning wheel, do you need to know how big the wheel is? In other words, do you need to know how big the universe is to know where the center is? Let's take it down to this particular wheel. If you just saw this image, do you need to know how big the wheel is? Now, I've measured the wheel. I know exactly how big it is. It could be a foot and a half, could be three foot, could be two and a half foot. I've measured it and with a, uh, a tape measure, and the wheel is exactly two foot in diameter. But you don't need to know that by looking at this image. Just looking at this image, whether the wheel is one foot, two foot, three foot, or it could go out, it could be a huge wheel. Maybe, maybe I've got a 16 foot wheel here. You, don't got, you guys don't know because I haven't backed out yet. You see the other wheel on the other side, but maybe it may, who knows, right? The only way you know for sure is if I back the camera out. But the, pro, the, 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 the answer to the question is you can know the center without knowing the size, right? Simply by what does it spin around? I'm, I'm focusing, let me pull back. <sighs> Okay, you guys see that? Now that's a wheelchair turned upside down. And uh, you guys can see the whole wheel now. You see what I mean? But 
what Robert Sanjina says, it doesn't matter if the universe is small and it doesn't matter if it's large. We can determine the center because everything's spinning around the center. And you see it every night. So I thought it would be good to give a visual response to that question. I'll probably title the video, uh, You Can Know Where the Center Is Even Without Knowing the Size. So take care, everyone, and uh, keep, keep searching the truth, and you'll find the Bible's always right, and science and modern man, whenever they contradict the Bible, is always wrong.